So maybe Joe, can you uh, share where we're at right now for this match? Yeah, absolutely. So I uh, went to California in July to compete at a sh submission on the shore. Uh, it was a purple, brown, black tournament at 145. Uh, all submissions legal, 10 minute rounds, and then EBI overtimes. So this is my first opponent. Her name is Nicole. Yeah. She's a uh, brown belt. Very, very strong and uh, aggressive. It was great. Yeah, she brought it. We worked a ton of wrestling and worked on leg locks and preparation, like like tightening the, the game and the For system. Sure. First time competing with those like leg locks legal, so mm -hmm. I know I've always been a fan of them and like I love doing them in uh, practice and training. First time doing it in a tournament, so. Yeah. So right here, you're doing a great job of basically fighting for the dominant grip in your stand-up. Either it be wrist control or to dominate the neck. I remember being at home just losing my <laughs> mind. Er Eric Nadal's with you. He's in your corner right now. And uh, right here is where I just want you to keep the pressure. Yeah. Fighting for the dominant grip so that she just can't initiate her game. Yeah, this was such a great, oh, I just, I remember that sprawl, it felt so good. Just right onto the neck, yeah, boom. I was losing my mind. Take down. I I'd, I'd use that takedown on you yep. countless <laughs> times in training. So to see you pull it off with such ease. You know, it's one of those where you're like, oh, that's why it works all the time. <laughs> that's it, control the neck. Change Maybe levels, take ankle her pick. back. Yeah. Here. And this is where we got to work on is with your grip, and just keeping that head position. But right where, right here is where you need to go for the body lock. Yeah. And, and the thing is, you're not used to going for the body lock. Mm -hmm. And this is where we got to make the adjustment. Yeah, it's definitely something I knew after competing there. I needed to work on. Like I get the back great. It's just the maintaining the back that I. Uh, yeah, it's something I'm gonna work on. See here, if you're pushing for like a body triangle, yep, you would have far better control of her hips, mm -hmm. and it would make it so much harder for her to turn to face you. But I mean, you do a great job of keeping the head positioning and keeping that under under over grip. Like you keep coming back to that ear to ear position. Yep. It's just here. There's a couple times where you could put in that body triangle. And, and then she wouldn't be able to turn. It would be so much harder for her to budge. You know, you do a great job here eliminating the arm. You got the wrist control. You're doing excellent. It, like, you know, the next thing is to get that hand right across her face. Yeah. Because even though she's defending against the entry for the rear naked choke, you know, with your hand under her chin, we can still do the rear naked choke on her face. Yep. You know, and this is where we got to make those adjustments. I know she like passed. All I knew is I just got to get right back up. <laughs> that guard retention drill, like where you, you you posted on the neck. Yep. I was just reviewing this with some individuals just in the last class. You know, just that proper guard retention. You mm -hmm. know, not only did you stop her from passing your guard, but you were also able to get back to your feet, which yep. is actually where we want to be. Want, want to have you wrestling. You know, what's what's great is like you're used to training with bigger, stronger guys. Oh, for sure. <laughs> so you're you're incredibly fit here. You know, after reviewing some of your MMA fights and looking at the conditioning you are in mm -hmm. in your past fights to the the condition the condition you are in now, it's like night and day. I definitely feel the uh, the switch great, from great. amateur to pro. Yeah, and even just even competing in jujitsu, you yeah. can still be a, have professionalism. Oh, exactly. And like the, the both of you here are pros. You know, you did a great foot sweep to initiate the takedown and the pressure. It's funny. I know at one point they tell us to stop using the the matted wall, but we're both MMA fighters, so we're yeah. both using the wall. Again, great pressure. Yeah. 
I was having a really hard time listening to the commentators. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to refrain from saying anything. Right. But, but. I, you know, what's funny is like I think maybe I'm a bit of a snob because commentators that are here in Ottawa mm -hmm. and who commentate from Muay Thai, BJJ, MMA, like everyone here is so knowledgeable in right. all of the combat arts. You know, it doesn't matter what amateur show you go to here in Ottawa. When right. someone's commentating, they're so... It's, it's good. They're so educated. They're so knowledgeable. Like, it doesn't matter who's doing it. Yep. They're on point. And, and, and also our referees. Ah, here. You did a great job. Where I Come sat. to the saddle. Yeah. Just, you need to control both feet. Yep. I know you're, you're working to get her far foot. You go quite quickly to the, uh, the heel hook. Mm-hmm. She did a really good job at pummeling that free foot in and... Yeah. And here, uh, we can work the detail on exposing the heel better. Yep. Yeah, so we're six minutes into the fight, and Nicole gets on top of you here. Yeah, not not very long because I knew I had to get out of there. Yeah, you, you need to give up. Uh, you need to give more resistance to preventing the pass. But yeah. she was not able to keep position at all. So pretty easy upa escape. Did a great job clearing the grips, and here you're on your way. Great pressure from top, making it very hard for Nicole to, you know, establish position or really establish any kind of threat. You're able to keep her pretty flat on her back. It's very hard for her to really get an angle on you. Just, this is probably the first time I've competed where I've realized just grip fighting is a whole part of the game in Nogi. Yeah, and I mean, because you're dominating the grip, she's, she's just not able to get a dangerous position on you by staying so square and well positioned keeping her on her back again breaking the grips defending against the grips you know she's just not she's not putting you in any danger and then eventually you get to your feet and here you go for the pass i think i sit right back to the saddle yeah, yeah this is where you need to collect both feet yeah you need to go to the floor leaf four leaf clover there and lock up both legs yeah or with, I forget the other name there. It's a Texas Farley Floor, that's it. When you got like the yeah, both legs both there? Both legs trapped, yeah, exactly. And again, yeah, she did such a great job of pummeling her leg to, to escape. That's why we gotta dominate both feet. She tried to invert to take your back, but yep. you did a great job to get right back to it. Yeah, now we're 50-50. Still very dangerous. You can still finish. I do remember now, I'm like, okay. So there's about a minute left. I gotta just get ready for this overtime. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, because you weather the storm here pretty well. Again, defending the grips, not letting her get control. You know, what's great about you participating in this Nogi tournament is that it's a great way to keep your skills sharp for MMA and for yeah. your next pro fight, and you can, you know, safely compete. You know, one of, one, of the, one of the other females is also, or a couple of the females in this event are all... MMA fighters. All MMA fighters. Yeah. Like, uh, what's her name? It's Aaron. Uh, Aaron Hurl, she's, she fights amateur as well. Uh, Nicole fights amateur. And the girl you fight in the finals. Also fights amateur. amateur. <laughs> yeah. So it's just a great environment for amateur pro MMA fighters to keep up their skills. For sure. Very high level nogi uh, for the girls scene is great. Yeah. yeah. It's, pretty, it's, it's great to see females competing at such a high level and with phenomenal technique. Yeah. You know, like, it's so funny. This this fight, you can learn so much uh, from both girls. Yep. Like, both of you put on a, f a stellar display of jiu-jitsu. Great escapes, 
great submission attempts and attacks from the back guard uh the leg attacks like you basically the two of you go through everything yep <laughs> from the wrestling uh yeah this is such a stellar fight it would be really great to see the two of you uh fight again in the future really oh absolutely you know i think the two of you are, would put on a great show like this is this has been an excellent fight You know, and especially in this dynamic where it's submission only, mm -hmm. it just creates such a different, such a different match. Oh, for sure. You know, what's what's so great about it is like, because you guys aren't worried about the points, you can put so much more out on the line. Just go. Yeah. Just you, 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 both of you are trying so hard to finish each other. What, what were you telling me about the referee? Uh, so this ref, uh, AJ, she uh, was one of the first female fighters for uh, in uh, Bellator. She fought for Bellator for six years. Incredible. It's just the, <laughs> the women you run into is amazing. Yeah, it's such it's so it's so neat that you you get to be like you know side by side. Oh, by for sure, especially me being an upcoming professional MMA fighter. Obviously, you're always gonna look up to like the ones that led the way, right? Absolutely. So again, like you were saying, we're EBI rules. Yep. It's gone into overtime, and there's going to be three rounds uh, of two minutes yeah. for, for each fighter. Also, never done this EBI overtime before. And here you are now finally going for the body triangle. Yep, and trying to submit when sometimes you can just hold them. Yeah. And just ride out the time. Yeah. It's a strategy. So there you go. She escapes in 21 seconds. I'm 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 going right by yeah. the time I'm, I'm watching. Like I don't know who the commentators are, what yeah. clock they're watching, but there there was like three different that was, that was clocks happening. Yeah, that was 21 seconds. Such an exciting fight. Yeah, it was so, there, so fun. You escaped also. It was 21 seconds. Like I, when when you got out, it was 1:39. Right. So both of you, like really when, even the when first I'm, one was well, even. When I'm watching from home, I'm like, okay, we're we're 21, 21. R right. And so I'm doing the math because I I know it's critical. And there's Eric Nadal right behind you, coaching. Again, you're doing a great job staying on the back while still pressuring for that finish. But Nicole yeah. is so tough. There, that's the one I needed to do during the match, just that's crank right. the face. Yeah, but and you know but, she needs yeah. to escape. So here we are. That was. 28 seconds. I know it says 131, mm -hmm. but when she got out, it was 132. So that's, she got it. So right now you're both tied with 2121. So it took her 28 seconds on that one to escape. That's right. And I do believe this was my fast escape. That's correct. You're you're out, and I think like it's either 10 or 12 seconds you escape here. And this is where I'm losing my mind. Yeah. Because now I know you're up. There you go. Yeah. 12 seconds. Okay, it was 148 when you escaped, so 12 seconds. So Nicole, it took her 28 seconds to escape. Yeah. The second uh, 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 round. So first round was 21, 21. Second was 28 to 12, 12 seconds. So, so in, 16 seconds ahead. In my mind, you're up 16 seconds. So I know you have the advantage right now. And obviously, like it's not going to be easy to submit her because no. <laughs> she is relentless. Like, what a great! This is such a great fight. She's uh, very tough. Oh yeah. She uh, she was about ten pounds heavier than me as well. <laughs> I, I did feel it a little bit. <laughs> not right away. No. But as the fight in the overtimes, <laughs> you start to feel it. So there, it took her. 30 seconds to escape that last one. So remember, the first the the first escape uh, the second round it was, was 28 to I was up uh, by 16 seconds. Yeah, yeah you're up, you're up by 16 seconds right now. 
and it took her 30 seconds. The last one. The last one. So That's so one. basically, you need to escape now in under 30 seconds. Now yeah. this, for her to switch to the arm lock, yeah, well, great strategy. Totally threw you for a loop. Totally. I could, I could tell like <laughs> mentally, you were not like, you were not, not even considering that this was gonna be an option. No. But man, the heart and determination to defend your arm, get on top, yeah, and hear the strategy, you're following the rules, and that's considered an escape. Yep. I remember talking to the ref, this like, is, I could lift her up again. You could, <laughs> you did that in 18 seconds. Right. Wow. I beat her by like 22 seconds. -ish. Yeah. yeah. Wow. You know, now technically by the, the math that they, they do, yep. you won by 13 seconds, I think it was. Yep. But from watching the clock, you know, it, it was close to... 20. Over 20 seconds, yeah. you, you basically won. So I'm at home right now. I'm like losing my mind because you've won. You, <laughs> right. you, 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 you've escaped in uh, less time, close to, you know, over 20 seconds. For sure. But I get it. As competitors, you're both trying to win. You're both trying to get a clean victory. Win. You want to submit each other. Yep. And, and I get it. You're both, you know, you're competitors, but you're good people. So who, whatever the officials say, you just go with You're going to support. I get it. You know, there's no sense in being a sore loser and you want to, you know, you want to be a great athlete because you want to be back. You want to be, you want to be invited back basically. Absolutely. Which totally makes sense. Like for me, I'm, I can't sit down right now because I'm bouncing off the walls <laughs> in my house watching this uh, live and like, I know you've won, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going bananas. And, uh, and I think they're about to show, um, you know, uh, they're going to raise your hand, I think, right here in a second. So funny. Get the hand raised. 30 seconds later. Wait, no, no. Come back on the meds. He actually lost. I'm like, what is happening? All right, yeah. sure. This is, this is wild. So I, I, I remember I'm like, I'm like just screaming. I'm like, <laughs> yes. Wow. Like I'm bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. And then shortly after that, uh, <laughs> they they raise Nicole's Wait, hand. Wait, actually, yeah. I'm and like, then, what? And then I'm messaging Eric, losing my mind over it. Over it. And then we have to figure out a way to get the footage back on. And luckily, your brother posted the fight on Facebook. I'm speeding back. I'm 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 calculating and I'm doing the math. <laughs> I've changed already. I'm like, oh, I lost. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I'm messaging Eric. I'm like, Eric, you gotta get that reverse right now. And he manages to talk to the promoter, and the promoter says, you know, look, you you, you prove it. Yep. And 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 we'll we'll go with it. And sure enough, Mark uh, Eric was able to review the fight, and and show that you you won. Well over 20 yeah. seconds. It was like literally 10 seconds before she was about to fight too. Yeah. And, and, and I get it. That's how tournaments work. Like if you won, you go into your next yep. opponent and you were able to step in. You got to fight the black belt, finish the black belt, and then you got to fight a monster in the finals. Yes. Yeah. She was, yeah, great. 19-year-old purple belt just uh, on her way. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm always down too when they're, they're game to wrestle. Amazing. That's great. On to the next one. Oh, yeah. <laughs>